Hi guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. and today we are going to be doing another anime haul. And this time it's going to be quite a mishmash of stuff. This is all stuff that I've collected through the year that's just sale items I found and some pre-orders that I wanted to get for my collection. Starting off, we have Legend of the Millennium Dragon and this is actually an older movie from Studio Parado. Here is the cover, very cool. And what I really like about this movie is the visuals. The effects animation in particular is just gorgeous in this one. And the other really cool thing is the variety of subtitles. It has English, French, Portuguese, Spanish, German, Italian, Arabic, Chinese, uh, traditional and simplified, Danish, Finnish, Greek, Hindi, Korean, Norwegian, Sweden, Thai, and Turkish, which <laughs> is just amazing. What a cool thing for a movie to have. I think all films, animated or otherwise, should have subtitles because even if I'm not using them, it means more people can see the film. And that's so cool. I really like it. The strange part about this set is the DVD is blank and the Blu-ray actually has an image. I don't know why they did that, I don't know. Even the same image would make more sense. But I found this on eBay, I think it was only $5, and it's just an older movie. It's very much just a Japanese boy gets transported back into traditional Japan with this battle raging between monks and Japanese demons. It's actually just a very typical plot. I wouldn't say it's earth shattering in its writing or anything, it just animation wise is very beautiful. It's something that's very easy to pop in and something that you can really watch with anybody. So if you're looking for something with a variety of subtitles and some really gorgeous animation, I do recommend digging this up. Uh, there's quite a few copies on eBay, actually. More eBay digging revealed Black Blood Brothers. Now, this cover is actually the reverse cover of the save cover. So when you're looking for this, you'll generally see this. Of course, the Funimation super amazing of value additions. But I definitely prefer the reverse covers when it comes to these. Whoops, there's Gus. Anyway, this is basically about humans and vampires, from what I understand. I've never actually seen it myself, but I do recall a lot, a lot of friends of mine back in Ohio really liking this one. So here is the art on the discs. And it was two dollars, you know, sometimes eBay will just suggest things that are insanely cheap, and you're like, you know what, I will, I will go for that eBay. Speaking of amazing sales in Sunshine, Big Wind Up! Yay! This is one of my all-time favorite animes, definitely one of my favorite sports animes. Here is the inside. Again, I like the reverse cover better, but you will see this first season as the save edition. I got both of these for $10 each, which is pretty great considering they're still like 30 or 40 bucks on Amazon. Here is the disc art. It's just first, second, third, and home base art. But yeah, this is just oh, one of my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite sports animes. Do try to look it up if you like sports anime. If you're trying to get into it, this is a great one to start with. I just, I love Mihashi, he's so cute. And I actually picked up this Big Wind Up Season 2, which was put out by Nozomi, on Right Stuff. Right Stuff had a DVD sale. And I actually like these discs better, because I always prefer a little bit of character art. On the discs, even though the base idea is really cool. Oh, look at all that. So yeah, I'm probably gonna make my own art box for these just because they're so different looking. It would just be better to have them, you know, a little bit more uniform, I think. Speaking of right stuff, they also have Mononoke for $11 on there, this DVD set of Mononoke. Here is back art on that. And I don't know, this series I feel like was really popular once back in when it came out in like 2011, but you don't really hear people talk about it anymore. And I rewatched it recently and it's still just so, so good. Um, neat, neat holographic discard, I like that. Um, it's about this medicine man who goes around expelling uh, mononoke, which are spirits. And these are, you know, about two to three episodes make up a short story and it is gorgeous. This is show has so many like pastels and bright colorful patterns. Um, you can tell just from like the umbrellas here and the designs. It really, really is good. And I just rewatched it randomly because I thought of it 
I think <laughs> I think I'm just into some like spirit hunting stuff lately. So yeah, definitely worth a watch. I was really happy to get this for such a cheap price. You guys may remember I did get Hozoki's cool headedness back in a previous haul years ago actually, but I was really fortunate that the second season was on sale recently and I, I started it, never finished it. I really want to finish it. This cover, once again, just like this one, the art is so cool in this. Again, very traditional Japanese demon stuff. There's kind of a theme going on with this. Here is the beautiful disc art as well. This is just a fun, like, comedy show, actually. <laughs> just about being in a workplace that is literally hell. That one's gorgeous. Another really cool show that I don't hear too many people talking about, but it's really interesting. And again, I just, I love that Sentai always goes out of their way to make matching spines. Thank you, we appreciate that. that that's something that's so nice to see as a collector. Now into some newer stuff, Vatican Miracle Examiner. Okay, I don't know what I'm getting into with this. This was just on sale and it's always caught my eye. This is an anime from 2017, actually. And somehow I missed it when I was watching stuff back then. But look at this disc art. Ugh, oh, so pretty. Anyway, as far as I've been told, this is like X-Files with a couple of priests that almost act like they're married. <laughs> so, I don't know. This is uh, where the angels fear to tread their assignment begins. I heard this is bonkers. I heard that it's um, really quite beautiful as well. So... Is this trash? Is this amazing? Is this amazing trash? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm in for a wild ride and if I should watch this one sooner rather than later. The last Digimon Adventure Try movie I needed, this is Future. Here is what that looks like. I finally have all these. I can actually sit down and watch all of them now. I feel like it's been a while since I got to watch anything Digimon, so I think I need to start at the beginning and just like one movie a night go through them, just do a week like that. I actually think that would be the best way to do it. And yeah, it's, it's really nice just to complete this. They do have that one um, pack that's all six movies in one if you don't feel like hunting down each set. I like having all the sets. I think it's pretty. I think it's cool to have all of the nice bright colors lined up on the shelf. That, that, that's just the weird collector part of me. I just really like that. Next up, this is Laughing Under the Clouds Gaiden. This is the three film collection. And I bought this really randomly, actually. My Walmart has stopped putting anime out, and this was the last thing they had in there. And I just felt the need to uh, get this because Laughing Under the Clouds is great. I haven't watched this yet. I will. I actually need to buy the series so I can own it alongside with this. This set's cool because it actually comes with some art cards. I don't know if they're all the same, but uh, the cards are for each of the movies, I believe. And they're just really, really pretty. This one's gorgeous. This one's probably my favorite. I really like the art in this. So yeah, um, I think this was maybe $17, a little bit more than normally I'd spend, but you're getting three movies in one, so to me that's still a good deal. Uh, yeah, I bought it because it was the last anime available from that Walmart, and it was the last copy. And yeah, I haven't seen it since, so I'm glad I have it because I would forget to go out and look for that specifically. On to pre-order stuff I love. I'll talk more about this in my next Lupin haul, but Lupin the Third, Fujiko's Lie. This, of course, is the third of the Koike movies, and I really like this one. That's all I'll say right now. But here's what the set looks like. I love this art. So cool. Uh, Lupin is just great, and I know he's going to be doing at least two more of these. One will be a Zenigata focused one, and then the last one will be the Lupin focused one. So, oh, it's gonna be a good feeling when I have all of those lined up on the shelf, I'll tell you what. Now for something super rainbowy, and now that I have sunlight, I can show you guys this embossed, glossy, holographic cover, which is just gorgeous. This is for One Piece Stampede. You guys know I really like this movie. Um, I have a whole video talking about seeing it in the theater last year. And here's the art. So cool. I love the One Piece movies. They just have so much energy. This is the in 
inside cover, Funimation stuff. And the discs are simple this time around. They were on the gold as well. And then here is the little reverse cover. It's like a mini poster. I mean, I appreciate that they do these, but I'll never use them as mini posters. <laughs> you know, I'm always going to want my set to be complete and have a cover. But, you know, I think these images are cool because you can always scan them in and reprint them for yourself if you want. I haven't really seen that image anywhere in particular. Yes, I did pre-order this. I was very excited. I did pre-order from Funimation and I did get the keychains as well. Last big thing of this haul. This is Promare and this was of course the anime movie that just took over last year. Everyone was talking about this and I didn't get to see it in theaters. So now I finally own it. I finally got to watch it. Actually, you know what I like? I like that G Kids did this half glossy, half matte slipcover. It's very cool looking. It looks different from the other G-Kids stuff I have. I really do need to go out and buy more of the G-Kids things. And here's the disc art. And the reverse cover. This film is super cool. This is a very cool image too. Uh, this film is definitely super fun. It is really just visually striking. I think that's the biggest part of this. And it's Trigger, so if you like Trigger stuff, you'll most likely like this movie. If you don't like Trigger, boy, you're gonna just get a whole lot of Trigger in this. Um, I think my biggest problem with this movie, if I'm gonna be honest and critical, is that I don't like movies that give you um, an exposition dump right in the middle of the movie to explain things. And the only way this works is if you have that in this movie. I prefer when it all kind of speaks for itself and works together. But you know what? Um, for the, all the characters and the action that you get in this, it's definitely worth owning. Also, when you own this, you get the uh, bonus features, which include the um, extra side stories. You get uh, Leo's and Galio's side stories. So yes, this is very fun and I'm really excited. It's been a while since I've gone out of my way to pre-order stuff, but as far as like things I love. These were three that I just had to, had to have. And that's pretty much everything for this. So here it is, all shiny and new. Anyway guys, that's it for this one. I just want to say hi to all my subscribers. You guys rock. I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you're all doing very well and staying very safe this time of year. Bye guys!